Hey there, YouTube. It's Jimmy with To The Top Crane. We're gonna do another quick crane repair video. This is on our little four-ton Broderson, little carry deck crane. Cute little thing. Actually, when you run it, you almost hang half out of it if you're a decent sized guy. But anyway, what we got had a hydraulic leak in this front axle. It's a hydrostatic drive. So we got two drive motors, two brake units. And then we have this block here. And this block is a valve. And this is actually a flow divider combiner valve. I'll explain that in a second. But what had happened is it had worked loose a little bit and backed itself out and in doing so it allowed pressure out through the o-ring blew the o-ring apart so it puked a bunch of oil out into the axle housing uh, started making a pretty good mess on the floor and whatnot so in order to get to this it was kind of stashed down here underneath that frame rail and you couldn't uh, couldn't get a wrench on it so I just pulled the whole front axle assembly out. What this does is, since we have two individual drive motors to each front corner, being a flow divider combiner valve, it's exactly what it sounds like. So oil, if you travel in one direction, oil would come in here, it'll go through this valve, and it gets evenly dispersed between these two fittings. That way both drive motors pull at the same rate of speed it equalizes the pressure between the two drive motors or the flow it equalizes the flow between the two drive motors also what that does is it works in reverse so when oil is coming in this line to travel the opposite direction oil flowing out of the drive motors both drive motors gets combined from two ports into one back to tank and in doing so it ensures that both drive motors travel at the same rate of speed so that's what this block is it's a flow divider combiner valve um, if you take this back out I apologize I didn't get a video of it earlier I had this out it's a stem about yay long and it's got three sections with individual o-rings and backup rings that separate each section and uh, yeah kind of kind of like hydraulic magic takes the flow from one port evenly distributes it through two ports or vice versa it takes the flow from two ports and evenly combines it back into one port so uh hope i didn't go over everybody's head with that and i explained it in enough detail but i'm gonna use this little crane to pick its own axle back up and uh, get it stuck back underneath it
got YouTube. There it is, all hooked back up, reinstalled. I tested it, everything works fine. No leaks. I put a little oil absorbent mats in the bottom, though, just in case we ever spring another leak. It'll uh, maybe prevent it from running all over the place. It's just a uh, little added protection. But anyway, I'm going to put the covers back on this thing and button it up. Alright, we're going to fire this thing up. We'll boom it down and uh, check hydraulic oil.